Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art. And if this looks familiar, it is because I shared this in the second half of my Christmas in July collaboration. So if you join me for the Christmas in July collaboration and live chatted with me, thank you for joining. But if you want to hear this video, see this video with some of more of my commentary on top of it, then you're in the right place. So basically, um, what I'm doing there is I have a split base and my intention is to do a landscape scene, a wintry scene, with a, uh, a bright, brilliant uh, sunset sky and a landscape below. So on the top where the gray is, is where the sky will be, which is where I have my, uh, my red and my Nicolazzo gold, my pearl that I'm swiping in. And then on the lower part, I have my landscape that after I've swiped it in, I'm going to then sculpt it to make it look more like a landscape that I will build upon near the end of the video. So on the portion closer to me, the future land section, I have my pearl, I have my iridescent bronze from Golden, and I have my uh, Van Dyke Brown by Arteza. So here, as I'm pushing it back and forth, I'm just seeing how much paint I have left on the canvas kind of stretching it out a little bit and I decide I want to add a little more color so I'm just going to swipe in some more color just to try to get the composite the color that I'm looking for before I really start to play with this even more and all I'm doing on the side there is I have some really chintzy paper hand paper towels that I've uh, sprayed with water that's water in that little spritz bottle and I'm just applying that to the line of color and pulling it through all the way to the end and trying to drop it completely off the end as much as possible. So here what I'm doing is I'm tilting it. I'm trying to tilt the landscape into the sky so I can develop a kind of um, landscape silhouette of mountains going into the sky. So what I'm doing here, I've got just a piece of cardstock from a mailer that I get in the mail. I cut it up to size, whatever size I wanted. And then I'm developing my lines that I'm going to follow for my, uh, my landscape. And I probably should have gone more on an angle. So more straight across from one corner to the other. But in the end, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. So yeah, I have all these great cells that I'm going to just completely swipe over to create my ground. Now, in learning how to do this, I watched a lot of Courtney Holscher's videos, but I also looked up and researched videos about how to get a uh, perspective and depth in your video. So it looks like you're looking close up to the foreground in the foreground into the distance and there's actually a lot of a lot of research I needed to do to get an understanding of perspective I mean you can look out into a scenery and see how things up close are bigger than farther back but to actually do that in a painting is a whole different world so there's my landscape to start with so after this I sat on this painting for a few days really bothered by my landscape and the mountains and I just thought, I don't have large enough mountains to get any kind of perspective in this painting. So one evening, oh, by the way, those are my paper doll trees, which I was practicing making trees for the first time. And I decided to just cut them up and lay them down on the canvas like paper dolls to see how it fits. So what I did one evening, I had a glass of wine and I was so bothered by the painting, I decided to go out there and just uh, paint in larger mountains. So after doing that and after practicing my little paper doll trees, I finally had the nerve to put the trees on canvas. And I started in the very far back, which is closest to you, just literally throwing down small lines of green. Um, and it's actually a house paint green I found in the garage that was a dark, dark green. Now, in all the videos I was watching about how to make trees, they all were suggesting fan brushes, which is what I practiced with. But as I started putting um, the paintbrush to canvas here, I just had that little plain old paintbrush and I just went with it because it was working. And you can watch all kinds of videos and one person I would recommend is Bob Ross. He's amazing. 
uh, great, a great artist and amazing at landscapes. So I watched a few videos and then practiced myself and then worked on my tree installation on my scenery. And this is what I came up with. So as I get near the end of this, I am adding snow, starting with the farthest off regions, adding snow and then dabbing it with a paper towel to make it look more misty. And then for the up close trees, I'm just adding snow and leaving it on the branches to give a good wintry look up close. And of note on the snow and the trees, I used straight paint. I did not dilute it with anything, no water, no Floetrol, just the straight paint. So just for fun, and because this was part of a Christmas collaboration, I'm adding a little gold topper on a few of the bigger trees just to make it more in keeping with what I was working on. That's my Christmas tree from when I was about six years old. And here's the final creation piece. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. It did take a little bit of doing and a little effort to try to get an 80 minute video squeezed into a seven minute time frame. But I hope you enjoyed it and take care now.